Rich Hollywood legend. Legend. Richard Gere is with us now in the new movie <laughs> Norman. Really old. The you moderate said rise. Let me just go with it. The moderate <laughs> rise and tragic fall of a New York fixer. He plays a relentless man eager to connect powerful political players. Take a look. Thanks for coming down, really. What I appreciate you, it. I wish I wanted to call. talk to you about You're acting like a maniac. Look what? at you. What, what, why are you getting involved? I, this, this thing is bad for Israel, bad for America, bad for Jews, bad for it, everybody. I, you're Step right. Away. This is Step bad away. for everybody. That's why I want to help. How can, you, how can you help? This is a political war going on 7,000 miles from here. Look, Eshel's rivals have uh, found this cockamamie story, and they're going to use it to take him down. There is nothing you can do about it. Don't get involved. It's too big. Richard, good morning. Good to have you here. <laughs> you too. It's really good. It, I said he hasn't seen the movie, so I, no, it's okay. Trust, trust me, me, it's, it's really, really good. It's really, really good. Um, I understand, and I just got to meet the director a second ago. Joseph is getting very shy. Joseph, are you here? He, Joseph he's, Cedar. He's over here. Joseph. And you, he doesn't want to come out. No, he's he shy. doesn't want to be seen with you. There's no makeup, no nothing. He's got a leather jacket. You said Joseph. To, you said to him when he first came to you about this project that if you were directing this movie, you would not cast you in it. Uh, absolutely not. Why not? No, because it was, you haven't seen the movie yet, but when you <laughs> see the movie, you'll know why. Uh, it's, it's, he's a schlub. He's, he's, his instincts are completely different than mine. So it really was starting from ground zero to... Uh, to build this character. As a matter of fact, they, they took steps to not make you as handsome as you normally I, are. And I thank you for showing up in character. <laughs> That's really good of you. What did they do to you? They, well, it was they. It sounds like there's a team of they who are like getting hysterical all over me. But it was, you know, Joseph wanted to, to change my, he spent a day, which is usually what I do, is I give people a day to play and do whatever they want. And then in the end, I decide what I want to do. But he said, okay. I want a day just play. So he put funny eyebrows on me and cut, you know, hairline back and mustache and all that. And that, it all looked ridiculous to me. And I had seen, I'd just come back from India and a, a friend of mine, Amir Khan, who's a wonderful Indian actor, wonderful. And he had a poster of his latest movie and it was a really goofy movie. And the poster was him with his ears sticking out. So I, I said, all oh, this is ridiculous. What about this? And he went, that's it. So you'll see in the movie that my, my ears are a little more protruding than in real life. When we talk about a fixer, and we, we use fixers in our business, the people who kind of grease the wheels and they connect people. Is, well, that, the fixer, is that the right definition for no, this guy? Yeah, but he's not really a fixer. He's a maha. <laughs> Which, explain what that means. Which is, he, he wants to be a fixer, basically. He's a wannabe. <laughs> he's a wannabe. Fixer sounds like he actually does it, but this is a guy who's... He's on the periphery of, of things that are happening. The people who have, have money or power or influence or whatever. I know you have no one like that around well, you. I was going to ask you, do you no have a Norman one. in your there, life? There are no Normans in this room, are there? No. 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 Everyone's looking at each other. <laughs> <Yeah. going around. laughs> is, he a, is he a pathetic character? You, you know, there's a, a, no, he's not pathetic. I don't find him pathetic. I find him very human, and I find his situations, we continually see him being humiliated. And Joseph has allowed us to, to feel that with him at certain times of this movie. I think there's a Chaplin-esque quality to this guy. And he's, he's kind-hearted. He, everything he says is a complete untruth, or at least a half untruth. But he believes his own fantasies of these schemes that ultimately he, he does believe is going to make everyone happy. Well, and, and as you say, it's really good. Take my word it's for really it. Really it's Joseph, really good. Joseph, come here, quick. Just come in for Joseph, a shot, come here. Joseph. He, he's not going to let you go That's without true. coming in. And I'm going to dominate the rest of the show until you do. So this you're, is the you're only looking way for a Norman, on. so. <laughs> no, Joseph no, no, not Cedar, at all. who wrote and directed this wonderful movie I'm very proud of. Thank you, Richard. Isn't that nice? Okay, I can go now, right? You can go. go. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, I read something, and it's sometimes these things aren't right, that, that you are starting to choose roles based a lot on can they keep you home and close to family here in this New York. Is, is that we, true? We actually talked about this I know. before. I think the last time I saw you. I have a 17-year-old son, mm -hmm. and I figure I got maybe another year or two that I'm going to be really in his life. And so, I don't know. 
four have you five, turned six down a lot of things ago. that required travel that you, you might have otherwise no, taken? No, what, what I tell them is, I, I like the script. I like the script. I like the drag. I like you guys. If you can do it in New York, yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> Even and though they it's said, set but in it costs too much. Yeah. They say it costs too much. I said, well, then I'll basically do it for free. And they go, oh, okay. You're coming back, you told me, maybe in a couple of weeks. I have another, another movie. This is like a hysterical now with it's two an, movies and another one in the pipeline. An embarrassment so. of riches. Yeah, I apologize to everyone. Good to see you. Thank you. Always. Norman opens in select theaters tomorrow. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.